welcome back to the arena. I'm Suetonia, joined with Mizza uh, here again. Have dock workers versus wormhole society. What has dock uh, dock workers brought, Mizza? So they have brought a kind of control combo based on curses and absolutions with a, a guardian to provide repairs and a strong support wing with the Nurgle, two Nurgles, a Mauler, and two Confessors. Yeah, and Wormhole that's... Society uh, brought in a Tarner, so that's their wildcard cruiser. They can't bring it in ever again in this tournament unless they make it to the finals. Uh, three Nighthawk, Cerberus, Jackdaw, three Harpies, and a Mower. Yeah, both teams have swapped in stack at ranges, but they are at the sharpest uh, warping angle, so they're fairly close to each other. The match has begun. Yeah, and th these are Ham Nighthawks, so they are going to uh, potentially want to brawl here, especially since the curses are guidance disrupting them. So there's a good chance that uh, Dock Workers might be able to kite them outside of uh, Heavy Assault Missile Launcher range with Absos using Scorch, although one of the Absos is already tackled and taking a ton of damage. Yeah, ever since the command ship changes, the Nighthawks do a ton of DPS. So, so this, like, this is like a minimum type rush setup just with Kaldai ships. Yeah, that abs are taking a, a huge beating there. Those three harpies are uh, moving in, tackling a lot of things. So uh, these uh, Nighthawks are going to be able to apply to quite a few things, although quite a lot of them are tackled themselves by the support wing of uh, dock workers with those Nurgles also screening off Nighthawks. And you can actually see uh, some of the Nighthawks uh, heavy assault missile launchers are expiring before they hit the abso. So the uh, Death Hunt Kainord, his uh, heavy assault missile launchers aren't actually hitting the abso right now. Uh, we see the check door of uh, seven door has been moved in close and he's actually getting scrammed by one of the confessors this is not a position you want to be in a check door unless you for some reason are fitted uh, with the uh, rockets yeah we, we're also seeing uh, the curses coming out one of the curses has come out and is nuding the atana now so the atana is going to be under some uh, cap pressure here too yeah having a uh... Two curses on you when you're flying a Lodgy is a really, really bad thing. It's going to make it so difficult to apply reps to anything. And these curses, I think they're going to provide a lot of value for the uh, dock workers team, since the shield setups tend to be weak against neutralizers. Like if you can neutralize the uh, invulnerability or whatever they call it these days, you can shut off their resist and make it easier to kill them. It looks like the Jackdaw is holding for now, but I think if the Curse New Pressure ends up breaking that Atana, that Jackdaw is going to drop instantly. The, the Absolution is getting very, very low of Val uh, Valesius. A lot of the Nighthawks are now in DPS range. They've arrived on top of him, so the Guidance Disruptors are no longer uh, preventing the hands from reaching. Yeah, losing the Absolution is going to be really bad for the Dark Workers team. It's a big amount of the DPS and it's, uh, some of the links, but it looks like he's catching reps right now. It's actually stabilizing uh, almost full armor again. Oh, and the uh, the Wormhole Society Jackdaw also dropping very, very low there, uh, dipping into structure and losing all of his armor. Yeah, it looks like the Wormhole Society is spreading DPS on a lot of targets. To both Nurgles are taking damage, both Curses are taking damage, one of the Confessors is taking damage. Uh, this is just so much uh, spread DPS. Yeah, those are harpies uh, that are the, each of the harpies is screening a curse each, and one of them is screening a Nurgle, and they have blasters fit. So it looks like the harpies are just doing DPS to them because they're they're just what are in range. Yeah, in the meantime, the absolution of uh, Ergonal is taking a lot of damage. He's he's bleeding hull now. This is not looking good for the dock workers. They need to get all repair on him if he wants to survive. Yeah, it looks like we saw a, a target swap there. Maybe he was in a, a better position for. Uh the Wormhole Society to go after. He is very, very low. We're seeing some of the uh, red bots get smart bombed out now. And uh, as long as dock workers hold, and it looks like they kind of are right now, uh, obviously this match is going to tip slightly in favor of them as that curse keeps draining that Atana's uh, cap boosters. So one really strong thing about armor setups is that uh, you can have the reactive uh, armor hardener. And since the Nighthawks are locked, uh, soft locked into kinetic damage, it could be that the uh, reactive armor hardener is starting to kick in and getting that super high kinetic resistance on the absolution, making it hard for them to break it. Yeah, that seems to be what's happening here is the reactive kicking in because we saw the other absolution of Valesius uh, also look like he was just going to drop, like he went to a closer structure in about 10 seconds. 
and then he and then uh, Moa of uh, Brimhurst Society just went down. He just just flapped off the field. This is a good uh, thing for the uh, Dog Warriors team. As to, if just a tiny bit of DPS, if they removed this, they might be easier for them to stabilize. Oh, uh, Valace is taking a ton of damage now too. But you know, is that reactive going to kick in? And uh, oh. <laughs> Like this is so close. They're just so close to break these absolutions. If they break them, there's a huge advantage for the Wormhold Society team. And the first absolution goes down. This is this huge. And even if they lost the Moa on the Wormhold Society team, they might have a chance to pull it back from here. But they do have uh, one of the Nighthawks being in low, low shield. And I'm not sure how much the Etana can repair anymore. Yeah, the Etana has been has had curses newting him for the past five minutes of this match, pretty much. So he's uh, he's obviously going to have a cap injector fit. He's probably gone through most of his cap injector sticks right now. He's probably had the like permanently boost this whole time. Yeah, we do see the entire support wing of the Wormhunter side team going for these curses, trying to kill them. And Pure is taking uh, damage uh, in his curse against. This is forcing the Guardian to split the reps between the Absolution and the uh, Curse. Yeah, trying to pressure the, the Guardian quite a lot here. Looks like the Curse is taking quite a bit of damage now. Uh, I don't know if the uh, the Nighthawks are actually in position to shoot him, but uh, the Cerberus and just the Harpies uh, are still like a pretty uh, huge amount of DPS. I think the Nighthawks are trying to slow boat towards the Curse, but that's as long as they're shooting the absolution, they're still pulling reps off the curse. So they just need to do as much DPS as possible, forcing the Guardian to choose. Yeah, that Nighthawk now of uh, Materian out of shields is just the uh, Atana that, that's uh, injecting and repping up. You see the, the reps just went down, then they're back up again. I think that's the, you know, the curse is muting him, then he has to inject. So he's... Uh, it's gonna drop here eventually, but it looks like Confessor on the dock worker side is about to go down too. Yeah, getting rid of these DPS is going to be huge. Like these confessors can actually, I think, do 400 DPS with the conflagration. So that's that can help keeping the Nighthawks alive. Like Mortian may not survive, but if they can clear enough DPS, they still have the advantage. Yeah, dog workers need to get some kills here. There's only three minutes left on the match. Looks like the Nighthawk is still very, very low here. And this match is extremely close. So it, can, it can go both ways, and just every team are trying to trying to kill whatever they can just to get the, that edge. Yeah, Nighthawk down twenty five points to Dock Workers, twenty two uh, to Wormhole Society. That Atana is probably uh, run out of cap boosters now because we're not seeing reps coming in on this Harpy. So he's uh, probably completely capped right now. Uh, you know, as this uh, match goes on, uh, he's probably not going to be able to rep anymore because he's probably drained through all of his uh, cap booster sticks. Yeah, we're actually seeing the Atala being shot uh, by the Dark Workers team. Uh, the Molo is moving in and uh, trying to kill him off, but I'm not really sure why they want to do that when they have him on perfect control with the uh, with the curses. But he's definitely taking heavy damage. Yeah, he's dying, and uh, without cap, I guess he can't turn on his uh, any active uh, in like active uh, shield mods that he has. So he does have that extra SP, but he is gonna drop with uh, the power of everything that's on him, especially once those Nurgles spool up. Yeah, in the meantime, the Wormhole Society is struggling to apply the DPS. It looks like the Dark Workers are trying to uh, are going to pull ahead now. They're killing the Eterna, and they're still stabilizing at the. There's just not much left that the Women's Society can do. They have fought really hard, but it looks like they can't uh, keep up anymore. Yeah, the, the Absolution's taking damage. I think it, it all depends. Can these Nighthawks kill this Abso in the last, uh, last uh, minute left of this match? And with the Atana being down, it can uh, make the Curses uh, focus on shoot, uh, neutering whatever they're primarying. So if they can nude out a target, then they don't have the resist, and then they're just going to go down even faster. They might even nude out the ADCs of, of uh, the Harpies. Like, one of them just went down in an instant. Yeah, without the, any cap, the Harpies can't really do anything. They're going to lose their tackle. They can't shoot because they need cap to fire their blasters, and then they also can't ADC because it also requires cap, so they just die a lot faster than normal. 
Yeah, already seeing a second Harpy going down low. And the Cerberus is also taking heavy damage. It looks like it's been tackled by, uh, by the Mauler. Yeah, so it looks like a Wormhole Society is actually the worst Wormhole Corp in the game now, uh, just beneath All Out. Well, they did put up, put up a good fight against the uh, Dark Workers. Uh, dark Workers are a, a decent, uh, really strong team. They have been uh, fighting against the uh, Road Capel in the round one. And the Cerberus just went down. Yeah, they, they fought really hard. Uh, it looks like it is going to go to uh, Dock Workers, so we'll throw it back to the studio. <laughs> 